Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we just got back from the grocery store. So I have all these groceries and I'm gonna go ahead and share with you a grocery haul. Today's grocery haul is a part of the monthly grocery haul collab that is hosted by Tiffany over at Small Town Six and Jessica Myros. I love being able to participate in this each month and give y'all some really cool new grocery ideas. Now there will be a playlist down in my description box below of all the other creators that are participating. So make sure you go watch, check it out and get tons more ideas. I'm gonna go ahead and start over here with the produce. We got two bags of sweet potatoes. I got one bunch of just some asparagus. I have a recipe that I, um, me and Tyler just kind of made up one time a long time ago where we just roast the asparagus in the oven with some cream cheese and mozzarella cheese and it is so good. So I thought we would go ahead and have that as a side this week. Got some of these smaller whole mushrooms. Gonna make some stuffed mushrooms with these. I have a video where we did this where like everything we did was stuffed and I'll link that down below if y'all wanna see how I make mine. Got some of these wild wonders. They're just some um, like cherry tomatoes, different varieties. Thought that would be good for little snacks. Got some of these mini sweet peppers. Thinking about making like stuffed sweet peppers for a side one day. Got some Anaheim peppers. We like to use these. There's a recipe that we found online that we're wanting to make and it called for jalapenos. And I'm not the biggest fan of jalapenos just because I'm not a big fan of the heat. So we got these Anaheim peppers to use instead. Got two things of salted butter, a two pack of cream cheese, got a pack of bacon. Y'all, bacon is so expensive. <laughs> um, if you have been watching my grocery hauls for a while, y'all know that our, our favorite bacon is the Wright's brand. And I could just, I just could not get myself to pay that much. So we went ahead and just got the great value brand. Got some more sausage patties for in the morning for breakfast. Got a big thing of ranch dressing. Got some great value mayo in the squeeze bottle. Some Old Charlie's honey mustard. If you're a honey mustard fan, you need to try the Old Charlie's. Um, it's just in, in Walmart. It's actually a restaurant called Old Charlie's, and this is the honey mustard that they have. And Tyler introduced me to this, and it is really, really good. So, like I said, if you like honey mustard, try that one. Got a few packages of just brown gravy mix. Got some more of Tyler's favorite, the cherry pomegranate. These are the water flavors he loves. We got some garlic powder and onion powder. Also had to get another thing of coconut aminos. This is just a soy free alternative for soy sauce. To me, it tastes exactly the same. Got a bag of brown rice, just a five pound bag. Got a can of mushrooms. Just needed one can of corn. Got two cans of diced tomatoes. And then we got four cans of cut green beans. A two 12 packs of Diet Dr. Thunder. This is what Tyler drinks. And they did not have any of the Diet Twist Up that I normally would get. And so I just went ahead and got this 7-Up Zero and they only had one in stock so I just went ahead and got it. Now that is all of the food items that we got at Walmart. So I'll show you a couple of other things. I needed a new laundry basket so I just got this one. It was only $5. I got a new, well, also, if you've been here a while, you know that one of our favorite wax melts is this Wonderland. Um, I was looking for some fall flavors today when I was at the store, but they were kind of, kind of picked over. So I just went ahead and got another Wonderland because we knew we liked that one. And then Tyler picked out this one. It's called White Teak. We had to get, we got a two pack of this deodorant for Tyler and just some disposable razors. Also got some of this air freshener. It's the Febreze Cozy Campfire. Super excited. All things fall, y'all. I'm so ready. Even though it's still super hot outside. <laughs> and then I just needed some more um, liquid dish soap. So we just got this Ajax. It's a super degreaser. And it is a real citrus. It has real citrus extract in it. And it smells really good. So if y'all need some, try some. Now, I have a question. Does Walmart have an off-brand of like Dawn dish soap? Because for some reason, I thought they did. 
And so I went over by the Dawn dish soap and I only saw Dawn. There was no great value or anything. So y'all let me know down in the comments if they have one and I just didn't see it. Now that is everything for Walmart. Um, we did stop by Dollar General and I had to pick something up for Tyler. But while I was in there, I saw these candles. And so I went ahead and got two of these. This says Hello Fall Weekend Flannel. It doesn't have like the description of the like what it smells like but it smells really fresh and then this blessed fall farmhouse oh these are so cute I just thought the the label on them was really cute and I love that they come in jars and like the lid comes off so whenever we use these and we use up all the candle I can still use the jars but that's all I got for myself at Dollar General and then I got a couple of things from Amazon the last week or two, and I wanted to share them with y'all. I got this two-pack of silicone mats, and I got these mainly so, like, when I take a pan out of the, or, a, like, a baking dish out of the oven, you can sit these on it, like, instead of using your oven mitts. And I love this because they're washable, so, like, if you spill something on it, it's not going to stain it. You can just wash it off. But since they're heat-resistant, you can also use them like an oven mitt to get it out of the oven and so I was excited about these I just got this um, like, kind of like olive green thought it would go with my kitchen pretty well and then I also got this this is a silicone it clips onto your like your pots and your pans and you can drain like your boiling pasta you just clip this onto your pan and then you just drain it out that way you don't have to get out a big um, colander I almost said cylinder you don't have to get out a big colander you can just clip this on and it's good to go I want to thank y'all so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below or maybe some of the cool items that you got this week subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next video bye